Hello again, burns. When a person gets burnt, the skin is affected. The skin is the largest living organ of the human body. And when a large portion of the largest living organ of the human body is affected by a burn, the body suffers significantly. So it's our role as a first aider to try and arrest the burning process or stop the burning. When the body gets burnt, as I mentioned, the skin is affected. There are three layers of the skin. Depending on the layer of the skin will decide on the severity of the burn. What we need to try and do as first aiders is arrest the burning process or cool the burn down. This has been the tried and tested technique for many, many decades. So in this case, we'll simulate the person's hand being burnt. We don't want to touch the burnt area, nor do we want to place the burnt area into a tub, bucket or a sink. We want to hold the, the burn area outside the tub, the bucket or the sink, obtain some cool, soft running water and pour the water over the burn to try and cool the burn down. We want to apply the water above where the burn has occurred so that the water can flow down over the burn and cool the burn down. This will be arresting the burning process, aiding in the recovery process. You want to apply cool soft running water for a minimum of 10 to 20 minutes over the burn area. If after that 10 to 20 minutes you decide that the burn is that bad and they are still suffering some pain, the person should be sent to a hospital to seek further medical attention. If it is Obvious, as soon as you identify the person who's been burnt, you need to contact the ambulance and get them on their way as soon as humanly possible.